Hi, my name is Mrs. Sipko Shah and in this short presentation I will try to introduce you to GCC Art and Design course and explain what the course has to offer and how choosing art might be useful to you in the future. The specification we offer is an AQA Art and Design endorsement fine art and is two year course. If you think about choosing art GCSE, one of the most important things is that you enjoy creating artwork. And that could be drawing, painting, sculpture, mixed media, installation. Um, you should also be able to work independently uh, you, and be willing to take risks and also be self-motivated. This is basic um, overview of the course. In year nine, you will be introduced to a variety of uh, media and techniques, which you will then be able to apply in year 10 and 11, where you will be completing your actual GCSE coursework. So 60% of your final mark for your GCSE coursework is the uh, pro a two project that you will be completing during lessons and outside lessons uh, with your teachers guidelines and help and you will be given a um, couple themes to choose from and it will be your decision how you want to approach those themes um, the other 40 percent of your final grade is the component two which is an assignment set externally by aqa with choice of starting themes and you will have approximately 12 weeks to complete the work and uh, followed by a 10 hour exam to be completed over two days so what does gcc art exam look like as i mentioned in my previous slide um, you will have an exam uh, over 10 hours over two days and it will happen at school now uh, art is probably the only subject you have that there is no written exam but it's a practical one instead and that will happen at school during school times uh, in your art rooms and over two days you have the usual breaks and you'll be creating a work which you would have planned over a few weeks beforehand. You would practice on a smaller scale what you're planning to do. So you'll be very, very well prepared for this um, exam. GCSE Art has four assessment objectives. Uh, and you need to show evidence that you meet them all and they all equally, equally weighted uh, objectives and they are all marked out of 24 marks um, and you need to have evidence for assessment objective one which is looking at different artists and designers developing your ideas for your chosen theme um, assessment objective two which is refining exploring developing your ideas media and techniques so it's just experimenting with a lot of media and techniques um, the assessment objective three is recording your ideas and your observations uh, through drawings through annotations through mind maps and an objective um, assessment objective number four is creating a final outcome which is very personal to you you are also required to do some written work and that could be in the form of mind maps uh, some annotations and some artist research so careers in creative industry are um, on the rise and creative industry in fact is one of the fastest growing industry at the moment and but you also will learn a lot of transferable skills that you can then apply in other jobs so for example you need to have very good dexterity to be a very good surgeon because you need to be able to use your hands to perform surgery and the basics of surgery you learn very good time management you need to take risks and you learn to manage and cope with mistakes um, and you also learn to think outside the box and think creatively. 
So these are some of the jobs you'll be able to, to do um, in, in the future with art and design. And um, there is many, many more. Um, so as you can see, the, there, is, there is a vast uh, number of opportunities. But also, I just wanted to pay your attention to those top skills for the future jobs. And as you can see, the top four are all the skills you will learn in art. Um, so art is not just about what you can create. And it's not just about drawing and painting, but it is all the other transferable skills that you will definitely need in the future. If you would like to find out more uh, or if you have a questions, please feel free to email me to talk to any of your art teachers or simply just come and see us um, to, to ask further questions. I hope to see a lot of you in year nine. Thank you. Have a good day.